everyone, welcome to uh, another Exchange 2016 video. Um, we're continuing with our series um, of configuring after our installation. Uh, in part 8 we looked at doing uh, email address policies. Today I want to talk about Outlook Anywhere. Now Outlook Anywhere has been around, I mean, for a very long time. And it's been most of the part the default connection or connectivity way for people working externally to connect to Outlook and internally. In 2013, they introduced Mapia over HTTP, but it wasn't the default. Now, if you're running coexistence and you have an Exchange 2010 server, when you install a 2013 server or a 2016 server, you'll notice that um, it will tell you that map of HTTP is not enabled when you're on the installation. If you have a brand new forest, brand new organization, it will enable map of HTTP by default. Now, there are some companies that prefer using RPC over HTTP versus using map of HTTP. Um, RPC obviously is the older client, map the newer version, but for those that want to use Outlook anywhere. There are two ways you can do this. You can do this via the Exchange Admin Center or you can do it via PowerShell. Now I've brought up the um, Outlook Anywhere um, Microsoft page and you can see there's, there's pretty much a lot you can configure on here. Most people go for the internal, external um, names and then your IS authentication methods and if you require SSL etc. Now you can see there's quite a few examples. Now for those admins that are more advanced that prefer working with PowerShell, this is actually very easy to do. Um, you can see in this example, you're setting Outlook anywhere, you're specifying RPC, default website, SSL offload set to false. And then if you move along, internal clients require SSL true and external clients require SSL true. If you're not comfortable using PowerShell, you can do it via the Admin Center. So in our Admin Center, we click head over to Servers and you can either double click on a server or click the pencil. And you'll notice here that you've got an Outlook Anywhere tab. As you can see, I don't have any URLs defined, but if I wanted to define it, I can call it, um, you know, I can make it the same and I can set it to basic and I don't want to do this or offloading and then you would click save. That is how simple it is to configure Outlook Anywhere. Obviously once you've configured it you need to change um, your other URLs and that you can do under your virtual directories. So if you head over to one of your servers you obviously now have to configure your OWA to you know to match what you have on your certificate and your OAB and Active Sync, etc. And that is Outlook Anywhere in a nutshell. Thank you for watching.